Hey guys, today I'm going to tell and show you a little bit about Chivalry Medieval Warfare, which is a first-person slasher set in the medieval era, and it does have a multiplayer focus, so you'll have uh, battles of up to 32 players online. So one of the difficulties that we've had in promoting the game is that people have this preconception that melee combat sucks, because in most games it does, because it's thrown in on the end, it's something that they don't focus on, um, and that's really unfortunate, but with Chivalry, we've really made the, the core focus of the game and all our design efforts towards making me melee combat fun. So we've designed the entire combat system to try and capture the feel that you get from medieval combat movies, where you see these epic fights between guys going back and forth with exchanges of blocks and parries, attacking each other, ducking under blows, and we're trying to bring that experience, those epic moments that you get from movies in the medieval and pre-medieval era, like 300, Troy, Gladiator, King Arthur, and bring that to the hands of a gamer. And to do that, we had to do it in a way that it's not pure realism, it's not pure arcade, it's somewhere in between, and all the timings are based on human reaction time, so it's something that's really fast, but still has that level of strategic combat to it, so you can make choices that mean something. Um, so one of the difficulties in other games is that you're not really attached to the objectives, you know, you're told to go to point A, you're told to go to point B, you're told to plant a bomb here, but it's really a very small part of the game, and really all you want to do is kill people. In Chivalry, we want to make the objectives the best part of the game, the best part of the levels, so everyone wants to be doing them all the time. And the way we do that is we make the objectives actually tied into dramatic and cinematic events that truly matter, and you see the scale of things that are happening. So a medieval army wouldn't go into a village and you know raise a flag to capture it, like you do in other games. A medieval army would go into a village and butcher everybody, and they would burn everything. And you get to do that in Chivalry. And that's just one example of how we've made the objective something that you genuinely want to do and can have a lot of fun doing. Chivalry has a massive arsenal of weapons where you actually get the choice to choose between something that changes your playstyle entirely. So if you have something like a bill hook, which is a really long pole arm, you can literally hit people from a much farther away than they can hit you with something like a hand axe. But if that guy with that hand axe or that mace gets up close to you, he's going to smash your face in. So you have to keep him away from you. You have to fight with that distance, a little bit like boxing, to be honest, where you have to try and like jab if you're more of a polearm guy, keep them away from you. If you're the, uh, the close-up front brutality guy, you've got to get in there and just go berserker on people's faces. And, and so it creates this interesting dynamic where the weapon you use actually affects the play style that's most appropriate for you to play with. So when you're engaged in that combat, when you're fighting back and forth with someone, and you actually defeat them, there's a true satisfaction in knowing that you beat your opponent, you bested them in the combat, and when you lose, when you're on the other side of the coin, you actually lose the battle, instead of being frustrated by being shot from 300 feet away, you actually have this sense of appreciation and respect for that person who defeated you, and it makes you want to go back and make up for those mistakes that you made. So what happens is you have a really skill-based combat system where you have to get to know the timings of your weapon, the reach of your weapon, and become really familiar with it so you can defeat all kinds of different opponents using all different kinds of weapons and classes. So one of the interesting elements that Chivalry brings that you won't find in other games is that the amount of tension you have in a combat with another person. You know, his sword just narrowly avoids your head, you scratch him across the chest, and when those fights, those epic fights, end with a decapitation or a limb flying off, that's when it's truly rewarding and you feel the glory of a medieval battlefield. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, please follow up on our website at shiverythegame.com. The game will release this fall on Steam, and you can also look for a beta in this summer. If you guys have some cool ideas that you want to share with us on our forums, please do, please do so. We're very active there and we'd love to hear what you have to say.